Many Malaysians travel to the United Kingdom, study law, and eventually read for the bar at one of the inns of court. Malaysia's first Prime Minister, Tunku Abdul Rahman Putra Al Haj, was a barrister and bencher of the Honorable Society of the Inner Temple. My late father, Tunadu Raza, was also a barrister and bencher of the Honorable Society of Lincoln's Inn. What was said in 1971 is still true today. It is important that our legal system keeps up with the aspirations as a country to attain developed nation status by 2020. That is why Malaysia has taken important steps to create a modern legal system that facilitates economic growth and at the same time protects the interests, the needs of the people. For instance, we have chosen and we recognize the need to liberalize the legal system. The Legal Prof Profession Act has been amended to allow licensed foreign lawyers to practice in Malaysia. The opening up of our legal market is important for Malaysia's continued economic growth and development. Malaysia is now a capital exporting country involved in numerous cross-border ventures which require the expertise not only of Malaysian lawyers but also of foreign lawyers with specific areas of expertise. It is important to uphold laws that protect the fundamental rights of all citizens and it is equally crucial for the government to act firmly against those who threaten peace and harmony of our country which our forefathers so painstakingly built up over the years. When I make this point, it is very, very current and pertinent because we are in the midst of reviewing our Prevention of Crime Act to give more powers to the police but at the same time ensuring that the rights of citizens are protected. The challenge is to find the right balance.